Just a ski pole will do it. You think we can just lift it straight up? We might build you. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> uh, this has got to be some of the heaviest snow that I've ever ridden in. you guys are going to be able to see today. Seriously? Wow. Turn to snow. I just wonder if I need to take some preload out. He was just like, like I tried all in. I tried a little bit. Well, you are at 54. He's just bummed, I think. But if we get up into some good powder, then he'll be ranting and raving all day. better. I thought maybe you packed up and drove back. What's up? I said, I said I thought maybe you packed up and drove back. <laughs> Look left and then right. Yeah, you're gonna kind of go. Back. You're gonna go about 100 feet this way, Lance, and then you're gonna go right. You'll see it open up. Should I go in that belly over there? No, 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 no. Stay up out of that to the right. Yeah, Before those trees go right. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, get a ski pole, get a ski pole. What happened to that tree on the right snag you? Yeah, yeah, but I, I thought, thought more than that. We are definitely riding that cascade concrete that everybody talks about. It's deep, it's heavy, it sucks you in. And we got our first kind of real climb here, we'll see what happens.
it's a good thing I went down to Premier and got my replacement battery pack for these goggles or else I wouldn't be seeing anything today. Look at that, bean burritos, because she loves me. So sweet. That's, thanks, Melissa. Pushing. That's how thick it is. Mashed potatoes. Jeez, we're just pushing snow. Got my skis locked up. It, big tree hole. Rolling my sled again. Nice. Good job. the hill do I need to stay left or right?
as you can tell, I was starting to get a little bit frustrated with uh, the constant stucks. I mean, on a flat ground, the trenching. We don't have snow that gets that wet in central Washington where we normally ride. I mean, every, every now and then it, it can, especially in the spring, but then it really starts to set up. So never really that deep and that wet and that heavy. Uh, so learning to navigate in this stuff was new, new for us, I would say. Uh, and as we continued to ride in it, you know, we started to get a little bit more comfortable. Being confident in your sled is super important. You're confident in your sled and in yourself that you're going to be able to maneuver the direction and the way that you want to go. So we had never been into this zone before, actually having even been on this mountain. Hale, a PNW sledder was nice enough to show us around. And we, had, we really didn't know exactly where we were going. We probably should have stopped beforehand and been like, hey, we're just trying to get up this hillside. You know, there's no obstructions to the left or the right. Like you're not gonna get cliffed out or anything. But we were kind of just really closely trying to follow each other's lines and, and, and the direction that Hale was going. We find out later that really there's this whole entire hillside that we could play on. So we didn't have to be so strict about the direction that we were going.
That's all. It's up to Josh. Like he said, I'll I'll beat myself to death. So like, and, and I don't I don't have any. You're gonna quit. What? You're gonna quit. Yeah. But I don't but I don't have any negative feelings towards them if they're like, yeah, I'm good. Lance, pull forward a little bit. scroll mode and lost where I was at all right I kind of went scroll mode and lost where I was at cruising around and I was not paying attention to what direction I was going now we have all these tracks that are crossing which way every which way and another so I gotta try to figure out is the name the road that you're on right now is that Lake
Oh. Oh, I mean, it's not like it's not deep. Hold on, I gotta get a footing. Okay. back Lance and Josh and I you know we were talking uh, a day on the snow is better than a day not on the snow so we definitely had fun I don't know if I would go back to this area in Snoqualmie again we get plenty of good snow this way and I would probably much rather start to head east you know go towards McCall uh, you know Cook City you know something like that where the snow is just gonna be you know that powder bliss that everybody talks about when I got back to the house, I talked to some of my buddies that ride in that area all the time, and they actually rode um, up Snoqualmie, kind of a different area at the same time as us, and they had a complete stuck fest as well. So I guess maybe we weren't doing quite as horribly as we thought, because I just felt like a completely new rider, like I was learning to ride all over again. We do really appreciate Hale, PNW Sledder. You can check him out, he's on TikTok, he's on YouTube, I'm um, in Facebook. Uh, you know, go, go and give him a like and subscribe. I really do appreciate you guys tuning into my channel and watching my videos. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're gonna have more videos to come. The season's just getting started and we're actually gonna go ride tomorrow. It should be super deep, another 16 inches on top of the last three feet or so that we got.